the voices of Muslims across Britain is being increasingly marginalised by authorities who find prominent Muslim opposition undesirable. This according to a report released by the London-based charity organisation, the Islamic Human Rights Commission. The IHRC report notes that for the past two decades, successive governments have worked to ignore Muslim civil society organisations which promote common Muslim viewpoints which the authorities don't find favourable, or that clash with British foreign policy interests such as criticism of Israel, support for Muslim resistance groups abroad or condemnation of British foreign policy. Muslim organisation and the sort of those who actually traditionally have represented Muslims are being excluded uh, from any aspect of the civil society, they are being excluded from consultation with the government, they are being excluded from taking part in decision making, consultation, every aspect, even media is actually starting to exclude uh, them. And that is actually very dangerous. And what we are seeing is replacing that is uh, sort of government uh, and establishment created institutions which have been created by them to uh, sing uh, the song according to the wishes of the establishment. In January 2018, the European Union's Fundamental Rights Agency published a report titled Challenges Facing Civil Society Organizations Working on Human Rights in the EU. The report highlighted the difficulties faced by civil society organizations who were considered troublesome opposition to mainstream narratives and government objectives. The IHRC sees Muslim organizations, including themselves, as the biggest targets of bias authorities. In response, the IHRC plans to apply new pressure on the government to tackle this issue. I'm writing to a uh, leader of uh, all political um, opposition from the Labour Party, Liberal Democrats, Green Party and uh, Scottish. Um, uh, and, and what we are saying to them is that unfortunately this government and Conservative Party are dragging us towards this direction and there has to be a change. Fears have been expressed over the long-term effects that the problem could create for Muslims living in the UK, at a time when anti-Muslim sentiment has become normalised within British mainstream media and politics. According to the briefing, we are living in an era described as an environment of hate against Muslims. Attacks on Muslim civil society groups is just part of a deeper crisis of Islamophobia currently affecting in Western society. If left unaddressed, the British Muslim community could become totally isolated, leading to more hate. Robert Carter, Press TV, London.